almost died from testosterone. Almost died from testosterone von Coach Greg. Lang nicht mehr geguckt. Let's go. This guy, he almost died from taking testosterone. I missed one of my pin days, so I did 300, 300 back to back, two days in a row. I guess yesterday I nicked a vein, so I got a little bit of a test cough after my pin. And so in reality, okay, hat eine Vene getroffen. he's doing everything wrong. Er macht alles falsch, okay. Coach Greg, in today's video, another steroid horror story. This guy, he almost died from taking testosterone. Another steroid horror story. Yeah, I almost died from testosterone yesterday. Or at least that's what it felt like. Let's talk about it. So you guys know I just got into my third cycle. And if you guys saw my video on my blood work, I had extremely low testosterone throughout my entire TRT cruise. Okay, first things first. If he had extremely low testosterone throughout his entire TRT cruise, then the testosterone that he... Äh, der geht auf TRT und hat einen niedrigen Testowert. Was? He was using was fake. How can you possibly be on TRT? That's testosterone replacement therapy. Das ist schon mal schwachs in seiner Aussage. Hat der Coach recht? And have low levels of testosterone. Das geht eigentlich gar nicht. If your levels were really that low, you would have simply increased your dose. Remember, when you're on TRT or HRT, the doctor is going to prescribe. Nein, Coach Greg re redet, redet, redet tatsächlich nur in den Videos so. Ich habe ihn auf der Expo getroffen bei Mr. Olympia, da redet er ganz normal, der hat eine ganz normale Stimme. Das ist quasi so sein, sein Markenzeichen oder so, keine Ahnung, warum er das macht. Ich finde es aber nicht so schlimm, ja. Wir haben das ja schon öfter gehört, ich finde okay, ist jetzt nicht so schlimm. Testosterone, so that you're within the normal reference range. If you're below that, aka extremely low, you're gonna inject more. But looking at his age, the fact that he's got sunglasses and a ball cap, you really think this guy has doctor prescribed HRT that he's nee, niemals. Der hat sich die verschrieben. doing this with the advice and consent from his doctor? I certainly don't think so. And so what I'm thinking is he's probably injecting fake testosterone that he got from the local dealer. After all, how else can you explain injecting testosterone and having extremely low levels of testosterone? Next. That being said, I wanted to get my levels up quickly for this cycle. So I was doing Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 300 megs each day. He was ex oh, my Lord. Plead for the cycle. So I was doing Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 300 megs each day. Das sind 900 Milligramm die Woche rein. Das ist viel zu viel für den Lappen, sehe ich doch jetzt schon. He was excited to start his cycle. Okay, das ist seine Form. Das ist doch kein Lappen, der sieht stabil aus. To get his testosterone. Aber 900 Milligramm ist schon ordentlich, das braucht kein Mensch. Wrapped up faster than last time. And so Wettkampfathleten eventuell. So his plan was to inject Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, three times a week, 300 milligrams each day. Well, that makes no sense. What, Amen. What you would do if you really wanted to get the cycle started quicker is do a double injection on the first day. If you are doing 900 milligrams a week, rather than doing 300 milligrams on three different days, you would begin the first day by doing 600 milligrams. The more you start front load or what? Start on day one, the faster it's going to get in your system. The testosterone has a half life. Various forms of testosterone have different half lives, and depending on which you choose to use, it's going to depend how quickly it gets into your system. I'm assuming he's doing test sip or test nth as that it would be the most common ones that people are using. And so if he really wanted to get it into his system quickly, he could have used something known as testosterone suspension. It would have been in his system in an hour or perhaps test probe would have taken him maybe one or two days. That would have quickly... Bacon soda frisst er, warum? He got him started. Many people will use various esters depending on how fast or slow they want to get the testosterone into their system. He may have wanted to use a... Das war der gar nicht auf dem Bild, diese Side Chest. Das ist doch voll der Lappen, sehe ich gerade. Mix blend, for example... Einfach ein Lappen auf 900 Milligramm Teste, weil er ungeduldig ist. Ample test sus or sustenone. That carries various esters from very fast to very short. And so if he'd injected test sus on the first day, it would have gotten into his system faster than last time due to to the fact it has very quick esters and the slower esters, for example, test nth or test decanate, undecanoate, that would take him longer to get him in system. And so by using Sustanon, you could have got the benefits of having test enter quickly into system, as well as the longer esters that will kick in later. And that was all butterflies and rainbows until yesterday. 
I missed one of my pin days, so I did 300, 300 back to back, two days in a row. And so he missed. He had one injection checked, and he had two hintereinander 300 geballert. So, for example, Montag and Dienstag. One of his pin days. How many people forget to do this? It happens all the time. Women with birth control or people taking supplements, vitamins, and so on, you simply forget a day. So he decided to do it on two separate days with no break in middle. 300 milligrams on one day and 300 milligrams on the next. But listen. That's still not a lot in the gram scheme of things. I'm not saying that 900 milligrams a test a week isn't a lot. It's just that to do 300 milligrams with a longer ester and then 300 milligrams the next day on a longer ester, it's not really all that much. It's not going to cause some super crazy spike in testosterone that your body simply cannot handle. And I guess yesterday I nicked a vein, so I got a little bit of a test cough after my pin. And so in reality, he's doing everything wrong. If you're trying to start off the cycle and have it kick in really quickly, you're not going to be doing three shots a week you're going to do a bigger shot on the first day and then go back to your ja gut das macht aber auch niemand mehr diese frontload geschichte mit dem ersten schuss ganz viel und dann immer weniger das ist auch ruhig das ist ganz alte schule normal dosis ich nie wieder gehört von keinem coach der welt nirgendwo gelesen Schedule after that now remember this is just advice and unlike mike israel i am not saying that i'm a doctor as i've always said i am not a doctor only do this with the advice and consent from your doctor i am not your doctor and never ever break the law and i guess yesterday i nicked a vein so i got a little bit of a test cough after my pin and so he claims that because he did these shots back to back as in two days in a row that he nicked a vein and that that caused him to experience a coughing sensation many of you have heard of tren cough this is extremely common when using tren but it can also occur when using test when you nick a vein or an artery that diese berühmt berüchtigte Trennhusten. Und an dieser Stelle gibt es eine ganz kurze Werbeunterbrechung. Falls ihr mich supporten möchtet, Freunde, besucht auf jeden Fall esn.com, denn dort sichert ihr euch mit dem Rabattcode William immer den besten Deal, unter anderem beispielsweise auf ein leckeres Designer Whey Protein. Und schaut auch unbedingt auf OAS vorbei. Da findet ihr beispielsweise dieses wunderschöne Tanktop und auch andere geile Klamotten, die ihr auch im Alltag anwenden könnt. Ebenfalls Rabattcode William. Alle Links immer in der Videobeschreibung und weiter geht's mit dem Video. Testosterone and the carrier, the oil, goes straight into the bloodstream and is carried to the heart. And so what then happens is in fact noted in the literature. Acute respiratory distress following intravenous injection of an oil steroid solution. And so what happened, it's known as a pulmonary oil embolism. And so with that pulmonary oil embolism, consider this. The oil essentially blocks blood flow to his lungs. So oxygen can't be delivered to the heart nor the body. And so that is what's literally They mind so zeri nur happening the oil is essentially blocking the blood flow from getting to the lungs where it's going to then pick up oxygen if it can't get to the lungs pick up oxygen and be transmitted throughout the body the body is going to be lacking oxygen which is known as hypoxia and, and you're going to suffer the consequences the heart rate speeds up trying to get oxygen that the body needs nein pump ein pump booster verschafft dir keine kraft keine kraft einfach nur ein besseres muskelgefühl einen besseren pump to survive and if it can't you're going to shock eventually you can die and so what you'll notice is your heart rate is beating faster than the last time Ach so ja, das war vor zwei, zwei Jahren, glaube ich. Nein, gar nicht mehr. Auf kein Video mehr. Auch nicht in Zukunft nicht mehr. Nichts mehr zu tun mit dieser Person. You're not running, but your heart is beating 120, 150 beats a minute. Also, you're going to start sweating. And so if you notice that you're coughing very hard, your heart rate is higher than ever before and you're sweating, you're probably experienced this pulmonary oil embolism from doing a shot that hit into a vein. So I got a little bit of a test cough after my pin, which lasted way more than five minutes. I felt it in my lungs all day. So I went, did my workout, felt okay. Tja, Junge. Hast du wohl verkehrt gemacht. Aber wenn ich mir den Typen schon so anschaue, Digga, der macht, glaube ich, wirklich alles falsch. Das ist so ein Prototyp, McFit-Pumper, der sich angefangen hat, der angefangen hat zu trainieren und direkt eine Kur sich reinfährt. Und gar keine Ahnung hat. Der hat doch nicht mal den Ernährungsplan, der Typ. Okay, came home, ate, and that's where I started to feel like shit. I started getting weak, chills, so I hopped in the shower. And so it lasted way longer than five minutes. He decided to go and work out anyway. But when he came back, he started to feel sick. He was getting chills. He wasn't feeling good. He had literally feeling like he had the flu. Sat in there for 30 minutes, shivering. I got out, had immediately get in like three sweatshirts, three sweatpants and get in bed. I got massive chills, couldn't move. 
for about two hours. And so think of it, he's getting cold sweats, he's freezing, he's in a hot shower trying to warm up, he's getting on several layers of clothing, he's experiencing something known as test flu. I've experienced this in the past, never to this extent, but I have and do remember starting cycles in the past where as soon as I started taking testosterone, I actually felt sick. It's known as test flu. Have you heard of it? Test flu literally... Wie kann man äh, Trennhusten sich beschreiben, vorstellen? Wie wenn du dich verschluckst ungefähr, hat mir mein Bruder Nillian mal erzählt. Wie wenn du dich verschluckst und irgendwas bleibt hier im Rachen und du musst die ganze Zeit husten, das geht nicht weg. So einfach unangenehm. It feels like you're having the flu. If you didn't know better, you think, I just got sick. Perhaps your body is sensing foreign objects, foreign chemicals being put into it. Ich habe einfach alle drei Stunden gegessen, egal welche Schicht ich hatte. Wenn du es willst, dann geht es. Ja, es hat nichts mit Schichtarbeit zu tun, es funktioniert alles. Ob du Frühschicht hast oder Nachtschicht, du, der Tag hat trotzdem 24 Stunden und du schläfst in der Regel trotzdem acht Stunden. Das heißt, die restlichen also 16 Stunden musst du dir so aufteilen, dass du ganz normal essen kannst, alle Drei, zwei, drei bis maximal vier Stunden. And it Alles andere sind meistens blöde, dumme, faule Ausreden. Die sagen, ey, ich mach nicht. Genau, einfach machen und tun. It's fighting against it. Think of it. What happens when you're sick? You have a certain bacteria, virus, your body is heating up, sweating, trying to get rid of it. And so that's your body fighting an infection. And so when you're injecting a foreign substance into your body... Wenn man nur eine feste Pause hat, dann würde ich vor der Arbeit essen. In der festen Arbeit, in der festen Pause essen und einen Shake einbauen, Flüssignahrung. Haferflocken mit Whey geht immer, Reismehl mit Whey geht immer und somit hast du den, diesen Bereich der Arbeit gedeckt, quasi die in, direkt vor der Arbeit, in der Pause und zwischendurch säufst du den Shake. Ich denke mal, den Shake, den kannst du immer, immer saufen. Ne? Gehst du hin, eckst du kurz, setzt du an, 10 Sekunden, das Ding ist leer und du hast 600, 700 Kalorien drin, je nachdem, was du dir da reinballerst. Es geht immer, man muss nur wollen. Body. The body doesn't know what it is, but it knows it doesn't like it. It's trying to get rid of it. And so what happens? You perhaps get a fever, the cold sweats, you experience the flu. Then I started sweating bullets, temperature of over 100, and just yo-yoing from temperature to chills, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all night. And so his experience, he's getting hot sweats, he's getting periods of cold, hot sweats, cold, back and forth, living nightmare. He's thinking, what did I do to myself? I almost went to urgent care, but I've recognized these symptoms before. And so he almost went to urgent care. My experience tells me this. If you're worried, if it's a matter of life and death, always choose life. Das Ding ist, Professor, die essen zwar oft, aber die essen kleine Mahlzeiten und die Mahlzeiten sind perfekt einberechnet. Du kannst am Tag zehnmal essen. Wenn du deine Kalorienbilanz nicht überschreibst, dann wirst du auch kein Sumo-Ringer und wirst auch nicht fett. <lacht> Choose life. If you're not sure what's happening, you did an injection, you perhaps don't have the fever, but maybe you have some serious swelling going on. Perhaps you have an infection. You don't know what to do about it. Go and seek medical help. It's better to go there and then say, oh, it's actually nothing. You're okay. Than to not go there and then you're dead. This is known as test flu. When an insane habe ich mal bei einem Kumpel gesehen. Der hatte wirklich so ein Loch im Arsch, weil er falsch initiiert hat. Der hatte so ein Loch im Arsch, dem wurde der Eiter rausgesaugt, Digga, literweise. Ekelhaft. Man, if testosterone enters your body, it can kind of freak out your immune system. Now remember, it doesn't need to be an insane amount of test entering your system to trigger that response. You could quite literally be on HRT. Doctor prescribed medications that your doctor or endocrinologist decided that you need. Even on these lower doses, you can still experience the test flu. So yeah, I just kind of wrote it out. Luckily was able to sleep and then woke up. Das geht weg, aber du bekommst eine fette Narbe, ne? up this morning feeling like a million bucks so yeah if you're a man der Baki, danke fürs Abo. and you're trying to experiment with steroids be ready for things like this be safe and now you know and so his advice if you're going to take steroids you haven't experienced these things before be cautious of this be aware of this with knowledge comes power and i do believe it's much more important to tell people of the pros and the cons yeah you can explain to people you might build muscle you might do this do that but it's also important to remember what can go wrong because what can go wrong is often worse than what can go right if everything goes right does it really matter it doesn't matter you're not really concerned with that but what about when things go wrong anyone can handle the good the positive yay 
But what happens when things go bad? And so hopefully you've learned something from this video. You've learned about the trend cough, what can happen, the dangers of it, also the danger of that, and the fact that you can experience test flu, and it is not isolated. It's not a one in a hundred chance. It's very, very common. I've experienced both of these things a number of times throughout my career. And so please, if you're natural, also Freunde, wenn ihr schon auf die dunkle Seite wechselt, dann macht wenigstens alles vernünftig, informiert euch vorher. Wenn ihr es schon tut, ja, im besten Fall macht ihr es gar nicht, wir distanzieren uns hier vom Medikamentenmissbrauch. Aber wenn ihr es tut, dann macht es vernünftig, ja. Mit Blutbildern, mit sauberen Besteck jedes Mal und, 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 damit ihr keine Probleme bekommt. Weil damit ist echt nicht zu Spaß, mit, beispielsweise mit so einem Abzess oder so Grippe, Fiebererscheinungen, das ist auch nicht cool. Vielen, vielen lieben Dank fürs Zuschauen, Freunde. Und falls ihr mich supporten möchtet, schaut auf jeden Fall bei esn.com vorbei. Mit Rabatcode William sichert ihr euch wie immer den allerbesten Deal. Beispielsweise auf ein leckeres Isoclear. Aktuell trinke ich sehr gerne im Sommer den Raspberry Geschmack. Gebt mir noch zwei Wochen, Punkt, komm, ist jetzt online, da könnt ihr euch aktuell drei verschiedene geile Designs sichern. Alle Links wie immer in der Videobeschreibung. Und falls ihr auf der Straße oder im Gym den Dicken machen wollt, schaut unbedingt bei oace.com ab, denn dort habt ihr auch immer den besten Deal mit Rabattcode William. Da gibt es zum Beispiel diese wunderschönen Tanktops, womit ihr wirklich im Gym aussieht wie eine brutale Maschine. Vielen lieben Dank fürs Zuschauen. Schaut auf jeden Fall auch dreimal die Woche bei Twitch vorbei um 20.30 Uhr, Montag, Mittwoch, Freitag sind wir online. Alle Links in der Videobeschreibung. Vielen lieben Dank und bis zum nächsten Mal.